What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tatra Ninja and I welcome you to what will probably be blah blah. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tatra Ninja and I welcome you to what will probably be the quickest let's play walkthrough of my entire YouTube career. We are playing the game Dear Esther which is available right now on Steam for 10 bucks and if you haven't heard about it don't worry not many people have. And this is a game what is what you would call a critical darling. Not many people have heard of it, not many people will probably play it, but it just got reviewed very, very well. All the review scores I've seen from it range around the 8 out of 10 mark. So it also kind of borders on the threshold of actually even being considered a game. It's uh, it's very it's very unique, and I love trying to support indie games like this, uh, bring them a little bit more attention because I think this is where indie the indie games is where more of the creative ideas uh, that will be integrated in future games will come from. But anyways, uh, that's enough of me talking. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's get right into it. I guess we're gonna go to start at the lighthouse. Dear Esther, the morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, and the waves always at my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. I remembered nothing but water, stones in my belly and my shoes, threatening to drag me under to where only the most listless of creatures swim. So, what I was talking about earlier about this game kind of being borderline even a game is that there's really no interactive thing about it all you have is just really this flashlight and you just progress through the game and that is definitely organic chemistry if I ever saw it you progress through the game and a story is basically just told told uh, told to you Let us go this way. The really the music is really really solid. So are the sounds, the sounds of those beaches, the sound of the beach in general, and the wind blowing in your ears, very very calming. But yeah, this game, like I said, I don't, I didn't know much about it other than the fact that it just got reviewed very, very well from everywhere I saw, from websites and everything, gaming websites that I frequent. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rowed here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Look at that view. Like I was saying earlier, I really love trying to kind of experiment with the different types of genres and games out there, especially if it means supporting any developers because as a gamer, I, I like to see unique ideas for games, and like I was saying earlier, that I think that's really... Those cool. islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time, sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. Here. Whoa. 
got something drawn in the sand right here. Don't seem to know what it is yet. The epic narrator is doing a pretty good job of making everything very merciful right now. I have found the ship's manifest, crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans. It tells me that along with this present cargo, there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market. It must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Guess we're not going this way. In terms of value, it is a $10 game and all the reviews I saw for it were only to say that it's only about two hours. Which which is in terms of value not the greatest, like I said. But I think you're just paying for the unique experience here. Let's go back. we can. There we go. I saw a staircase to my right when I first came down here. I didn't want to take it because it looked too direct for my likings. I wasn't even 100% sure if I was going to actually make videos on this game. I knew for a fact that I was going to play the game. But... Uh, I didn't know how well it would respond to the viewing crowd. But that's okay. I play games and make videos just for fun. Try to keep my options open. Let's go this way. Up the staircase. Such a calming atmosphere. Felt like I got stuck on something for a minute there. Gonna try to keep making my way towards that red light. A wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between the cliff path and the stone circle. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach, all the world as if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. Let's see what's ahead of us here. Apparently this game is actually a remake. I think it started off as a Source Engine demo. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Yeah, like I was saying, it started off as a source engine demo, I think, and then they just recently... I quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? 
I see a boat. Let's see where this lead us leads us. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. This hermit, this seer, this distant historian of bones and old bread, where did he vanish to? Why, asked the farmers, why, asked Jacobson, why bother with your visions at all, if you're just to throw your arms up at the cliff and let it close in behind you and seal you into the belly of the island, a museum shut to all but the most devoted? What's with these drawings? Got some clothing here, some fancy clothing. Some bones, some paint. I'm more interested in getting towards the ship, though. Oh, is that a body? Oh no, it's rocks. Huh. Come back out again. Nice swim. No, no, no. Cannot swim. Let's go towards this path down this crack, towards that red light that I saw. I don't know why though, even though the music's very relaxing and the atmosphere is very, very settling as well, I feel like I'm on edge right now as I play. Like something's gonna jump out of my face to try to eat me. Just being paranoid, I think. I don't think this is the kind of game where you actually fend anything off and you fight stuff. Just get immersed into the entire experience. I've become convinced I'm not alone here, even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candles, or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. I'm gonna keep making my way towards that red light. Let's see where it leads me. More of these hieroglyphs. I could hear my heart beating there for a second. What's beyond the rock? No one knows. There are a lot of these type of games coming out as of late. Games that just borderline can be classified as games. I guess this is a point no return.